Edinburgh Woolen Mill is coming in for criticism from politicians, businesses and locals in Langham as reaction intensifies to news of its headquarters moving to Carlisle. The company says it needs bigger offices to expand, but many feel the move is sounding the death knell for Langham. Charlotte Bria Edney has been in the town today. A shared feeling of anger, frustration and sadness in Langham today as the news of Edinburgh Woolen Mill's move to Carlisle continues to rock the town. I mean, they say it's made in Scotland. How can it be made in Scotland if they're going to England? It's bad, bad news. We've seen over the last few years with Border Fine Arts going, having lost all our mills in the last 20 years, here is the, here is the hammer blow. The only way from here is up. I just think it's a shame it's closing down because it's the last kind of biggest employer in Langham, you know, and it's going to affect a lot of people and a lot of the um, shops. The company was founded in the 40s as a dyeing and finishing firm. The man who opened the first Edinburgh woolen mill shop, David Stevenson, still lives in Langham. After selling the business 22 years ago, he's become deeply involved in attempts to boost the town. This is sad down to two counts. Um, one is it's just sad to see a, a business that's been based in the town, and it's, you know, what you might call a Scottish iconic business, an iconic Scottish business, move to an, an English headquarters, and that just seems daft to me. But more importantly, it's the effect on, directly on the people that work in the mill. Why on earth do you take a trade on the heritage of a Scottish company and headquarter it in a foreign land, England? Cafes, shops and hotels stand to lose the most if the hundreds of workers employed at the headquarters disappear. Billy Young runs the newsagents. It's businesses like his that will suffer. But he says the town isn't broken. Well, I'm devastated. Everybody in the town is devastated. Um, this is the final nail in the coffin for Langham. We have no major businesses left in the town. We won't give up. We will fight. We'll fight for the future of Langham. Edinburgh Woolen Mill saw sales rise last year and reported profits of £91.5 million. They're now under fire from politicians of all parties. That's more jobs out of Langham, really turning Langham into a dormitory town for Carlisle, which is a big disappointment to us. We're also disappointed that the owner had made no attempt to get in touch with the council to discuss anything with us and prior to making this decision. But Langham's loss is, of course, Carlisle's gain. Private sector have to decide where they want to re uh, locate their offices, so we can't do anything about that. And we must also recognise it is about Carlisle re gets a benefit, which still does benefit the overall region. Edinburgh Woolen Mill say they will maintain their links with Langham by creating a cultural centre. They told us... It is proudly part of our history and heritage. That's why we're retaining the office building there and have ambitions to turn it into a cultural centre, community resource and tourist attraction. They've also reiterated the fact that no jobs will be lost in the move, which they say will deliver significant improvements to the working lives of staff. In just a couple of months, these gates will close as the heart of Langan's last big industry leaves the town. And Charlotte joins us from Langham. Um, Charlotte, the anger over this isn't confined to Langham, is it? The politicians at Holyrood have been weighing in as well. Yes, here in the town, real frustration, real disappointment and a sense that something quite significant has to happen to turn the tide and change the fortunes of the town. And politicians have been quick to react. Oliver Mundell, the MSP for Dumfriesshire, raised the issue at First Minister's Questions earlier today. This news is doubly disappointing because it comes as uncertainty continues at Pinney's. Can the First Minister confirm what contact the Government have had with Edinburgh Woolen Mill and set out what support is being offered to boost the economy in Lower Annandale and Estdale, which is clearly struggling? First Minister. Well, firstly, I am very disappointed to hear that Edinburgh Woolen Mill have confirmed plans to move their head office from Langholm. Uh, the company's plans, unfortunately, do seem to be fairly well developed, but uh, notwithstanding that, we will do all we can to encourage a different course of action to retain jobs and economic benefit in the town and community, uh, and importantly, the company's HQ in Scotland. Uh, I can tell the member that the business minister is speaking to the company today to see what support the Scottish Government and our agencies can offer. 
Well, Nicola Sturgeon there promising to do all she can to support the area and saying that Paul Wheelhouse, the business minister, has already been speaking to management to discuss the options. Now, we know that Edinburgh Woolly Mill has already asked for the support of the Scottish Government in realising its vision to turn these former headquarters into a cultural centre. What we don't know is whether that support actually means cash. OK, Charlotte in Langham, thanks very much.